Welcome back traders and in this video we're going to be going over how to get Pokestops at your house or work or wherever you're going to be stationary where you typically wouldn't have any. We've talked about this before and we're going to be going over the giveaway for this new device here. So I did make this video of August 4th, 2001, so eight months ago. We're going to go ahead and do it again. What's going on here? How do you do this? Well, you go to the destination where you want your avatar to be stationary. Basically the spot where you want to spin and catch Pokemon, okay? You're going to not need an auto catcher, but I don't know. I think it'll just be better with that. Your Go Plus will work fine. So what you're going to do is disconnect your Go Plus, then connect it right before you want all of this to take place. You're going to turn off your GPS. I accidentally tapped mine back on. You don't do that. So before you actually initially get started, make sure you have everything you need. And uh, so that's why I didn't turn it on. So first we're going to go ahead and get some of these lures, make sure you have Pokeballs, make sure you have space in your bag. I guess you can delete, but it's going to be disconnected from GPS, so it's going to be better for you to just take care of business while you can, while you're still connected here. And then you're going to go ahead and put those lure modules on, and also an incense so you can maximize this. Now, I'm not going to sit here for the whole period of these incense I am going to or the lures I'm just going to stay here for a while and what's going to happen is now we're going to go ahead and disconnect and now we're going to for sure disconnect and the GPS will come on and now we are going to be officially able to be stationary here while getting Pokemon and spinning these stops for an hour now I say one hour because that is the time frame of which your go plus or your gotcha whatever is going to be able to connect to the game before it does auto disconnect that's just the way it works unfortunately so I am off right now. I'm moving and I'm on my way to my house here. And then I'm going to show you all the transitions on the way. And what I'm going to do is just stay here for a good, it was like 15 minutes. So three spins, and then I'm just going to get all the gifts that I need, 20 gifts, and then everything extra is going to be nice. Now, a few things that are going to happen here, make sure you don't try to mess around too much. You'll see me doing things here. You can still do things in the game, uh, but it, don't try to tap on the Pokestop. So you're not gonna be able to see the Pokemon for one, okay? We started at that bar brooch. A lot of them are gonna be running away from me personally because of this event and the grottles, they're just running off, okay? So I'm not too worried about that. The whole point is to show you that you can do this and you can spin stops and you can get Pokemon for one hour. And here we go, okay? Apparently this is some secret. People are saying, ah, right, look what I found. <laughs> one of my subscribers showed me this. We're gonna bring it right back before we do that giveaway. And uh, see what we have going on. I will be shipping these to them and uh, we'll get into that in just a moment. If you do enjoy this kind of content, give it a thumbs up. I know we got a lot of information out here today, folks. We got the whole mega thing going down. We've already talked about it, but the official news is here. So awesome, right? People don't really like the mega system. We'll see how this new one does pan out. It was so horrible that they revamped the whole dang thing. So the Pokestops are refreshing. You will see it go above them and spin them and you will see the items. As far as the Pokemon, you won't see it go above those. It just catches those by itself and you're just going to have to check your inventory or go into your log and see what's going on there. So it is spinning the stops and I am at my house. I am at my house. So we're getting gifts. That's all I really wanted. <laughs> All right, I don't need anything else. I mean, Pokeballs are always fantastic. So let's go ahead and see what we have going on here. I wanted to show you guys something here. Now, I'm horrible for the special task lately. I kind of just don't... It's not that I don't care. I just sometimes I forget and then it's like, oh, I get overwhelmed with work and then I forget when this thing stops and I forgot that I needed to do this, that, this with these tasks. So I just got them lingering around. Some of them are just going to be almost uncompletable until we get an event with that Pokemon spawning again. <laughs> Otherwise, it's just yeah, not happening. I did get this PvP Oddish from the stop. Very nice, okay? Like I said, it's about the Stardust at the end of the day too, I suppose too. All right, so we're gonna wait for these to refresh again. And this is gonna be the second spin here, maybe the third. But all I know is it worked perfect. Now, something else to take note of while you're doing this, and I got a few other things to say as well. You got to make sure you're within range of your device, like your phone to your catcher. Otherwise, obviously, when you disconnect your catcher, you can't connect it right back. It is going to have all kinds of issues. You're going to have to reconnect GPS. So make sure you're within range. OK, and make sure you got batteries. Make sure it's just charged up and it's a stable device and it doesn't have issues disconnecting. Otherwise, this is going to be not fun for you and it's not going to work at all. 
Another thing, it's apparently it doesn't work on iOS. A lot of comments, almost 2,000 likes on the other video where we did drop it. So um, people were saying it doesn't work on iOS. Maybe there was a few comments saying there was a workaround, but I'm not 100% sure. I'm definitely gonna go with it doesn't necessarily happen on iOS. So if you're on Android or any other device other than an Apple device, then you're gonna be able to do this here for the most part. Worked for me, one and done. Literally, this is one and done. The last time I device disconnected right when I got home, so I had to go back out and do it. But this one, this new one is solid. And it's funny, why can't we transfer these stickers? But you know what's even funnier? But they'll take you to the shop so you can buy more. Come on with these stickers. All right, so this is the third spin here, okay. And then we'll get into the giveaway. And I have a few more features that I wanna show you with these, with this new device here before we do get into the giveaway announcement. And there's gonna be one winner from Twitter, one winner from YouTube. If the YouTube winner doesn't reach out to me within four days, I'll pick another one. Uh, I already know the Twitter one will because he comments on my stuff all the time. It was funny when I saw his name popped up. Also, I'm gonna be giving away two of these new devices. I said initially one, but I said, you know what? I'm not gonna be greedy and keep one in case mine breaks. Whatever, I'll just buy another one. So I'll, and plus I've been using my older one for many years. So it's still going. This is a newer device, more solid, I would assume it feels. Uh, so it's probably gonna last me forever. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, ship out two of those newer ones. So we're gonna go ahead and turn on our GPS and we do uh, you know, end up right back at our house here. And there's a nice Venusaur and this sucker. Watch this son of a gun. So I throw a Golden Raz, Ultra Ball, excellent throw, first throw, and it just runs away like, nah, man. You got plenty of me, boss. I gotta go. All right, so there you have it, folks. Hopefully that is a fun little tip for you if you did not know. All right, so I didn't really quite go over the features on how to kind of able and disable, even though they're kind of very self-explanatory. And also, by the way, this is not on the market yet. So if you're looking for it, people are asking, where is it? It has not been released yet. Um, so just follow their Twitter to see when it releases. So these features here, Let's go ahead and take a look here. I did change it over to the right side. You can do that. You can go player one or two. I just wanted the female voice. So let's go ahead and see what we have going on here. 91 Pokemon Pot 20 Pokestop visited. Okay. Volume up. So to turn them off the settings, you hold it right when you're on there. I want the volume on, so we'll go to the next. 91 Vibration off. So we have vibration off. Let's go ahead and hold it. Vibration on. All right. And vibration off. We turn it right back off. Simple as that. Live notification on. Okay, notifications on if the disconnected and whatnot. Live auto catch new Pokemon on. That's a nice one. Like we were saying, auto catch new Pokemon on or off. You could turn that on or off. That is a good feature that you can't get with your auto catchers. Auto catch new Pokemon on. Auto catch new Pokemon off. Turn that off. Ninety-one. And I think that's about it. Connecting. So there you have it. Let's go ahead and get into that giveaway. All right, for our first winner, we have who's it gonna be? Who's it gonna be? Ken Miller from YouTube. Congratulations, you won. Reach out to me over on Twitter and we're gonna get everything coordinated. So we got that screenshot and everything else if you follow me. And get everything squared away and have that shipped out to you. Let's get into the next winner. All right, let's see what we have going on here. This is gonna be from Twitter and this was a weird one so we're just gonna look at it. So we have, uh, how do you say that? Kap Kapoor, you're the winner. I've seen you commenting, I'll reach out to you and send you a message. Thank you for watching, trainers. If you did enjoy this video, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe for new train notifications on. I'll be catching you all next time. Take care.